Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Marvit Education Center. This series is for Patom 4. Let's learn some new words. Are you ready? All right. You will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabulary words. Here are some important words for this lesson. Can you say them with me? Here we go. 1. Xylem 2. Fibrous root 3. Stomata 4. Sunlight 5. Photosynthesis 6. Transpiration Please say the word with me. Xylem Let's say it again. Xylem X Y L E M Xylem that was fantastic! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! Xylem carries water and minerals from the roots to the other parts of the plants. Can you read a sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Fibrous roots. Let's say it again. Fibrous roots. F I B R O U S R O O T S. Fibrous roots. That was awesome. Can you say the word by yourself? Fantastic! A fibrous root system has no main root but only thin and branching roots. Can you read a sentence on your own? Great! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Stomata. Let's say it again. Stomata. S T O M A T A. Stomata. That was terrific! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! The function of stomata is to allow gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen and water vapor to move into and out of the leaf. Can you read a sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Sunlight. Let's say it again. Sunlight. S U N L I G H T Sunlight. That was great. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. The functions of the leaves are to capture sunlight 
and to make food for the plant. Can you read a sentence on your own? Amazing! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Photosynthesis. Let's say it again. Photosynthesis. P H O T O S Y N T H E S I S Photosynthesis. That was incredible. Can you say the word by yourself? Great job! Plants use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make food which is sugar. This process is called photosynthesis. Can you read a sentence on your own? Amazing! Let's learn another one. Please say the word with me. Transpiration. Let's say it again. Transpiration. T. R. A. N. S. P. I. R. A. T. I. O. N. Transpiration. That was very good. Can you say the word by yourself? Well done. Transpiration is the loose of water from plants as water vapor. It occurs when the stomata are open. Can you read a sentence on your own? Amazing! Let's learn another one. In this lesson, you will be able to describe the function of roots stem, and leaves of flowering plants. You will also learn about photosynthesis and transpiration in plants. Do you still remember what structure of the flowering plant we have learned last episode? Excellent! We learned about the flower and its structures as well as the process of pollination. Today, we will learn more about other structures of the flowering plants, including its roots, stem, and leaves, as well as their associated functions. We have learned when we talk about non-flowering plants, the functions of the roots. We said that roots anchor and support the plants. We also learned that roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. But, how do really plants absorb the water and the minerals from the soil? Do you want to know? Inside the roots are tiny tube-like structures. These tube-like structures are called vascular bundles. It has two main parts, namely, xylem and phloem. One is for absorption of water while the other is for the minerals. Isn't that amazing? Think of the plants like you when you drink coke from a bottle, you use a straw to sip the coke from the bottle. Plants use their xylem and phloem to sip the water and minerals from the ground. Amazing, right? 
The stem does not just provide support to the leaves and flowers, but it performs another very important function. Do you know what this function is? Do you remember the vascular bundle in the roots that look like tiny tubes and is responsible for absorbing water and minerals from the soil? Excellent. You're right, the xylem and the phloem. This system of tubes continue up to the stem of the plant. The stem will not distribute the water and minerals to other parts of the plant, most especially to the part of the plant where food is being made. Do you know where the food in the plants are made? Fantastic! The leaves of the plant is where food is made. So, let's find out some more about the leaves. Leaves are one of the most important parts of a plant. Their main functions are to capture sunlight and to make food for the plant. Do you know what helps the leaves capture the sunlight? You are right. It's the green pigment called chlorophyll. So, how do plants make their food? Let's find out. Leaves need a sunlight for photosynthesis to happen. Did you know that photo means light and synthesis means putting together? In order for photosynthesis to be possible, the plants do not only need sunlight. They also need water and carbon dioxide. Do you have an idea what happens during photosynthesis? Photosynthesis starts when chlorophyll absorbs energy from sunlight. Green plants use this light energy to change water and carbon dioxide into oxygen and nutrients called sugars. The plants use some of the sugars and store the rest. The oxygen is released into the air. How do plants release oxygen in the air? Let's go and find out. Transpiration is the process wherein water is taken into a plant by the roots, transported up through the plant and released from the leaves as water vapor. This process happens when the stomata is open. As a result, more water will be drawn up from the roots by xylem to replace the lost water. As water vapor is released by the stomata when it opens, oxygen molecules also are being released by the plant's stomata. This is the reason why it feels cooler if there are trees around because of transpiration. So, we need to plant more trees to make our environment cleaner and cooler. Let's go ahead and plant trees around us. Please answer the activity on your science textbook, page 22, number 4. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.